they're bringing something here to cause us harm. You have to believe that. China has safe houses in every state in the United States. My name is Rick Jones. I'm the Butler County Sheriff, Butler County, Ohio. Uh, I just came back from the National Sheriff's Training in uh, D.C. Uh, three days ago, two days ago. We were briefed by the FBI director, Ray, the director of the FBI, and several federal agencies. There's 3,300 sheriffs in the United States. The President of the United States refuses to meet with the sheriffs of the 3,300. We have a hierarchy, we have a president, we have a vice president. The president of the United States refuses to meet with the sheriffs. He also refuses to meet with the police chiefs of the United States. They have a hierarchy also. He refuses to meet with them to talk about border issues or talk about crime that's going on because of the border issue. We were also told by Mr. Ray, the FBI director, that there are more red flags going off now than before 9-11, okay? When I say red flags, meaning people that are here in this country that are wanting to do harm to us. We were also explained we're, in the, we're bombing two countries right now. Two countries. These people do not like us before this started. There's thousands of people here from other countries, 160 different countries. They're here not to be our friends. Some of them are coming because they're wanting to come here to the best country in the world, the way we see it. Some are coming here to do harm to us. And we were told by the FBI director, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We were also told five sheriffs went to Israel five weeks after the attack. The only thing that saved the Israelis, the government, was the local police. They were outgunned, outmanned, they came over, the Palestinians did. They came over, they killed, raped. The sheriffs were there, they talked to the police. The local police are what saved that country. You can't just call, even in Israel, you can't just call the military up and they're gonna be there, okay? They went house to house, raping, killing. The Israeli police, when our guys got there, the sheriffs, said they just don't hate us. They hate you guys equally. And the same people that train them are the same people that train people to hate us. The FBI director said when 9-11 hit, there's more red flags now than then. So, and he said, these are people that want to kill us and do harm to us. Now, so you're wondering, I want everybody to know what I know. I can't tell you everything, but I want the public to know that we are in a terrible way right now. The United States, and I'm gonna to get to the local, the United States, we're on the defense. You can't be just defense and not have an offense. We have no offense, we're just defense. We're absorbing these attacks, we're in other countries, we're supplying them with weapons, we're supplying them with our, our, our treasure, our money, and we're not doing much back home. So, with that in mind, we were also told that they're going, this is from the federal government, three days ago. They're going to attack our elections, which they've always done that, just not the national. They're going to go into the locals. They encouraged us to talk to our local election officials and be prepared as much as they can for cyber attacks. Even local, you have to be prepared. We've been told that, again, they're coming here to do harm to us and even in Ohio or in the United States, we're not going to be able to call and ask for help from the federal government. They're going to be busy. The military's not coming. The National Guard, when 9-11 hit, it was all the police and the fire. And they were in total, total organized chaos. The military had the skies. And I don't want, somebody asked me, am I like Doomsday Jones? And I said, no. It, it, and I'm not like Chicken Little. I want you to know what I know. And if you don't believe what I'm telling you, that's okay. You can do what the Israeli citizens done. 
you can build a little safe house in your basement. And good luck. Uh, now, getting to where we've been attacked here in Butler County, you're going to think, well, we've never been attacked. We have. The Russians attacked our system, our electronic system, our computer system. They hacked it. They also are trying to hack just not ours. And they, we were down for two months, just a paper. Hacked our dispatching, hacked everything. Now, was that to help us? No, it wasn't to help us. It was to hurt us and cause chaos. As we speak today, the Russians are still attacking our computer system, just like they're attacking most of yours, but I want the public to know this. The Chinese tried to attack our cyber system here in Butler County, which includes everything that we have, dispatching for police and fire five times a day. I'm going to repeat that. Five times a day. The Iranians are attacking our computer system and trying to hack it three times a day. I want to repeat that. Three times a day. Now, are they doing that to help us and be our friends? No, they're not. They're trying to disrupt everything that we do. And this next election coming up, they're trying to do the same. So what we're doing here is we've got rifles in every police vehicle we have. We have what we call a go bag. We have extra magazines. And we're going to start training civilians. We've offered uh, classes to train civilians. And we're going to start training civilians on what to do when disasters hit and emergencies hit. Naturally, we can't train the whole country. We can't train the whole county. We put this up online yesterday. It's full we can do like 30 people at a time. We're trying to get it, and the organization that is doing that is um, uh, Texas a and They're coming here, the federal government's paying for it. They're gonna train 30 civilians on what to do when disasters hit. 30 out of 400,000 people is not much. So we're trying to get more classes. Don't wanna cause fear, don't wanna cause panic, but I want the public to be aware that you are under attack. And when they're attacking, they're trying to get our cyber system. We have a grid system, Butler County does, the whole United States. Hell, our grid system goes out when it gets hot. So, and our grid system is from the 1960s. And they're trying to attack our phone system. The Chinese are flying over with their little balloons. That's not to help us and help us do some weather direction. And all we're doing is we're on the defense, we're absorbing this. And these other countries that are attacking us, overseas, it's a lot of drone attacks. Get into drones. You have the technology that local law enforcement has on drones? Zero. We can fly drones, and most police departments and sheriff's offices have drones. We can't detect drones. Hell, they look like a bird in the sky. We can't make the drones stop, we can't stop them. When you see football games on TV, the national football games, they call timeout to stop the drones. Hell, my grandkids have drones. Everybody has drones. We have no technology. The federal government doesn't share any of the drone technology with us. So what we're going to do is we're reaching out to the private industry, and we're going to see if we can get anything that can detect drones and how we can stop drones. Now, again, it's not to scare people. This is the truth. Everybody in this room, the news media, you guys get hacked. You try to get, they try to hack you. One of the local channels in Cincinnati was hacked. They were down to paper for several, several weeks. Just paper. When we were hacked, we were down to paper. Our computer system, our dispatcher, all hacked. Again, that's being attacked by foreign countries. You wouldn't think that a foreign country would be attacking us. The public needs to know we're being attacked every day. Now. People that are here to do us harm, do we expect? I've been to the border three times. People are not just turning themselves in. They're actually called gotaways. And some of them are getting through with backpacks and packs. Now, are they bringing groceries with them? We don't think so. We believe the ones that don't want to get caught, there's a reason for that. We believe they're a good, strong possibility. They're bringing something here to cause us harm. You have to believe that. China has safe houses in every state in the United States. Now,